Number six, consider the following reaction in aqueous solution. So we have five Br minus aqueous plus BrO3 minus aqueous plus six H plus aqueous, which will yield three Br2 aqueous plus three H2O liquid. If the rate of disappearance of Br minus aqueous at a particular moment during the reaction is 3.5 times 10 to the negative fourth moles per liter per second, what is the rate of appearance of Br2 aqueous at that moment? Okay, so looks a little scary, but I promise you it's not. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to write the balance equation again. So we have 5 Br minus aqueous, what kind of R was that, Christina, plus Br O3 minus, and, you know, always just as a rule, just make sure that, you know, whatever equation they give you, just make sure it's balanced. I do see coefficients in front of these, so... I'm going to assume that it's balanced, but as I'm writing this out, I'm scanning just to make sure that it's balanced, and it looks good to me. Okay, so here's our balanced equation. Now, let's just categorize it, and they did tell me information of Br minus. So here's Br minus. They said that the rate of disappearance of Br minus at, you know, a particular moment, no one cares, but the rate was 3.5 times 10 to the negative fourth. Now this looks a little scary, right? And me personally, I don't like to use these units. Now, just as a little fact, right? Um, anytime that you have a value, right? Let's just say that, you know, some, some type of letter, right? Or we could even say it as a number, right? Four. If you have a negative exponent, that just means that you are secretly in the denominator. And once you put it in the denominator, that exponent terms positive. Now the same thing goes with these, right? I have a mole that's on top. Now this liter should be in the denominator because it's a negative. And remember, once it's in the denominator, now it becomes a positive. But L to the positive one is just L. And then the same thing with the seconds. The seconds to the minus one just means that it's in the denominator. Um, and then it becomes positive, so you don't have to worry about that. But, okay, this is a little bit better for me to understand. However, eh, not the best. But I do see that I have a mole per liter. We know what a mole per liter is, right? This is the same thing as saying molarity. Right, mole divided by liter is a molarity. So I can just say that this, which is this, is just molarity per second. So maybe that's what I'll do. I'll say that this is 3.5 times 10 to the negative fourth, and now it's just molarity per second. And any time that you see a molarity per second, that is a rate value. So now it kind of makes sense. The rate of disappearance Disappearance just means that the Br minus, the one in question, is going down. And that makes sense because all your reactants should be disappearing because you are appearing. You know, the products are appearing. So disappearance just means that this is going to go down by a rate of 3.5 times 10 to the negative fourth molarity per second. And now the question's asking for, well, what is the rate of appearance? Appearance just means that it's going to be showing up, and it checks out because it's on the product side. So we're basically looking for this rate. Okay, so I say to myself, oh, huh. well, I'm, I'm starting off with one rate, right? I'm starting off with the rate of Br minus. It does not matter if it's disappearing or appearing because that's just context. It's a rate, right? A rate is a rate is molarity over seconds. And I want to go to rate of Br2. Cool. Now, huh, right? I can do this in a very easy manner by using the balanced equation. Remember back in the day when we were going from moles of one compound or substance to moles of another? Do you remember what we did? How do we go from moles of one thing to moles of another using the balanced equation? Did you say use the mole ratio? Because that's exactly what we're going to do here. It's the same exact idea. The mole ratio 
is just using those big numbers in the front, the coefficients. That's all you have to do. That's just why you just have to make sure that it's balanced. So let's start it off. We have 3.5 times 10 to the negative fourth molarity per second of the BR minus. Now I'm going to just times by a ratio. And in this case, since it's not moles and it's molarity, uh, molarity per second, I'm just going to put the, I'm just going to put the compound down here just to make it easier or the substance, right? This isn't a compound, it's an ion. So BR minus goes on the bottom and who you want goes on the top, BR2. Now what are these values? Well, these values, that's the mole ratio. These are the coefficients. So all I have to do, after I write this, all I have to do is go back to the balanced equation and just get those coefficients. I have five BR minuses, so the five goes on the bottom, and I have three BR twos, so the three goes up on top. BR minus cancels out with BR minus, and the reason why we could use a mole ratio is, remember, molarity, there's a secret mole in there. So secretly, we're going into the unit of molarity, getting rid of the moles of BR minus and plopping them with the moles of BR2. And then the unit's molarity per second stays exactly the same. So it's just easier when you're doing rates just to kind of cancel out the, you know, the substances. Then let's just do the math. 3.5 second comma, that means times 10 to the negative fourth times three divided by five. Love calci, it will do everything for you. You don't have to use parentheses if you're doing the EE button. And there it is, 2.1 times 10 to the negative fourth, and that's molarity per second of the BR2. And that is our final answer. Well, uh, uh, there you go. Um, anyway. I think I'm going to get some coffee, <laughs> even though it's 10, what time is it? 10, 13 a.m. I've had one cup already, but I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. I need, I need, I need the, uh, the brain juices flowing, which is coffee for me. Tea sometimes, but mostly coffee. What about you guys? Uh, let me know in the comments. But thank you so much for viewing uh, the video. I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Love talking to you guys. And I hope you're doing well out there. Keep studying hard. Always keep learning and stick with the videos. I'm here with you guys every step of the way and nothing like a great study buddy. You know, when, whenever you need me, I'm there for you guys. Um, it's great to learn at your own pace. That's what these videos provide you. So you could study at any time that you want. I hope this helped. Thank you so much. You guys rock. And I'll talk to you soon, okay? All right. Bye-bye.